Ladies and gentlemen, gather around those crackling radio speakers and tune in. For tonight is a special night of auditory enchantment that shall transport you to a world of dazzling lights, velvety curtains, and the magic of the stage. This, my dear listeners, is none other than a night at the theater, brought to you by none other than Vintage Radio. Ah, uh, yes, the theater. A realm where dreams take shape through the power of words, where stories unfold with the grace of a dancer's pirouette and the resonance of a masterful symphony. Tonight, we embark on a journey through time, back to an era when elegance and refinement were the order of the day, and the footlights illuminated a world of mystery, romance, and laughter. Imagine, if you will, the Grand Marquis lining the boulevards, announcing the latest plays and musicals that captured the hearts of audiences. The scent of buttered popcorn mingling with the notes of a haunting melody as patrons in their finest attire filled the plush seats, awaiting the magic that was about to unfold. So, dim those lights, settle into your favorite armchair, and let your imagination run wild as we present to you a night at the theater. I am your host, Vintage Radio, and it is my distinct pleasure to guide you through this evening of vintage delights. Without further ado, let the overture begin, and may the magic of the theater sweep you away. The cowboys, the wrestlers, the tumblers, the clowns, the roustabouts that move the show at dawn. The music, the spotlights, the people, the towns, your baggage with the labels pasted on. The sawdust and the horses and the smell, the towel you've taken from the last hotel. There's no business like show, business like no business I know. Everything about it is appealing, everything the traffic will allow. Nowhere could you get that happy feeling when you are stealing that extra bow. There's no people like show people, they smile when they are low. Yesterday they told you you would not go far, that night you open and there you are. Next day on your dressing room they found a star, let's go on with the show. The costumes, the scenery, the makeup, the props, the audience had lifts you when you're down. The headaches, the heartaches, the backaches, the flops, the sheriff who escorts you out of town. The opening when your heart beats like a drum. The closing when the customers won't come. There's no business like show, business like no business I know. You get word before the show has started. That your favorite uncle died at dawn. Top of that, your mind part parted. You're broken hearted, but you go on. There's no people like show people. They don't run out of dough. Angels come from everywhere with lots of jack. But when you lose it, there's no attack. Where could you get money that you don't get back? Let's go on with the show. There's no business like show business if you tell me it's so. Traveling through the country is so thrilling. Standing out in front on opening nights. Smiling as you watch the benches filling and see your billing out there in lights. There's no people like show people, they smile when they are low. Even with a turkey that you know will fold, you may be stranded out in the cold. Still you would change it for a sack of gold. Let's go on with the show.
to Vintage Radio. Maybe the sun gave me the power For I could swim Loch Lomond and be home in half an hour Maybe the air gave me the drive For I'm all aglow and alive What a day this has been What a rare mood I'm in Why it's almost like being in love There's a smile on my face For the whole human race Why it's almost like being in love All the music of life seems to be Like a bell that is ringing for me And from the way that I feel When that bell starts to peal I could swear I was falling, I would swear I was falling, it's almost like being in love. When we walked up the break, not a word did we say, it was. Made the world kind of fine It was Life seems to be Like a bell that keeps ringing For me I could swear I was falling. It's almost like being in love. Who do you write to, Uncle Stephen? To the mother at home. Can I say this to the mother, O oh, Tico, that I cannot bring him home, that he will perhaps never, never come home? But Uncle Stephen, you are an unfundis, and you can ask God to help you, and he will surely help you. I don't know, Alex. Before Lord God made the sea and the land, he held all the stars in the palm of his hand, and they ran through his fingers like grains of sand, and one little star fell Start here in the stars. 
stars, big stars, blowing through the night. And we're lost out here in the stars, little stars, big stars, blowing I've heard so much about Magic Touch, Campana's new cream makeup. Is it so very different from other makeup? It's so different that you'll never believe how much prettier it will make you until you try it. Magic Touch is a cream complexion makeup that you apply with your fingertips. No powder puff, no water. You can use it anytime, anywhere. And it literally performs magic for your complexion. Gives you that new complexion loveliness that women are demanding today. The unmade-up look. Magic Touch provides a feminine, delicate, fragile makeup beauty. The Dresden doll-like complexion that women are seeking. What does it look like? Magic Touch is a wafer-thin cream in a beautiful white and gold compact. It offers you six new complexion flattering shades. All you do is stroke your fingertips across the surface of the cream, apply to your face, and blend. Magic Touch contains a new magic ingredient that causes it to blend better than any cream makeup yet invented. Do I use powder, too? No, if you want the new luminous effect, and I don't mean shiny. Yes, if you want to give your complexion a matte finish. Either way, Magic Touch gives you a new, flawless-looking complexion. Is Magic Touch very expensive? Surprisingly inexpensive. You get a large-size, classic, golden-white compact of Magic Touch for only one dollar. I'm going to try it tomorrow. And believe me, you'll never know how pretty you can be until you do. Yes, ladies, thousands upon thousands of you from East Coast to West Coast have said how glad you are that your favorite hand lotion, Italian Balm, is back again in the stores. Made exactly as it was before the war. I know a lot of children who are glad, too. Children's hands, wrists, and legs get chapped so easily in winter. And Italian Balm is so soothing, so protecting on children's tender skin. Men also are glad to have Italian Balm back again. Men don't like dry, chapped, red, beefy-looking hands any better than anyone else. And they know that Italian balm, rich, concentrated, clean-smelling, is the lotion to use in the wintertime. It's so different from thin, watery lotion. So economical, too. Remember, just one drop serves both hands. Today, Italian balm offers the same pre-war quality, same pre-war quantity at the same pre-war price. Can you beat that for hand lotion value? Try it tomorrow. Italian balm. Scratching an irritated skin can cause serious infection. If you're troubled with skin irritation caused by eczema, hives, winter rash, use DDD Prescription, the cooling antiseptic liquid that brings relief from irritating skin discomfort almost instantly. Ask for DDD Prescription. Trial bottle 35 cents at any drugstore. are merely an obsolete art. Forgive me for asking this simple question. I'm unfamiliar with his heart. I'm a stranger here myself. Why is it wrong to murmur I adore him when it's shamefully obvious I do? Does love embarrass him or does it bore him? I'm only waiting for my cue. I'm a stranger here myself. I dream of a day, of a gay, warm day, with my face between his hands. Have I missed the path? Have I gone astray? I ask, and no one understands. Love me or leave me, that seems to be the question. I don't know the tactics to you. 
But if he should offer a personal suggestion, how could I possibly refuse when I'm a stranger here myself? Please tell me, tell a stranger, by curiosity goaded, is there really any danger that love is now outmoded? I'm interested especially in knowing why you waste it. True romance is so fleshly. With what have you replaced it? What is your latest foible? Is gin rummy more exquisite? Is skiing more enjoyable? For heaven's sakes, what is it? I can't believe that love has lost its glamour, that passion is really passe. If gender is just a term in grammar, how can I ever find my way when I'm a stranger here myself? How can he ignore my available condition? Why these Victorian views? You see here before you a woman with a mission. I must discover the key to his ignition. And then if he should make a diplomatic proposition, how could I possibly refuse? How could I possibly refuse when I'm a stranger here myself? Mr. Mahoney, the moon has disappeared. That's the valley legend, Sharon. They who meet on an April night are forever lost in love if there's moonlight all about and there's no moon above. I look at you and suddenly something in your eyes I see soon begins bewitching me. That old devil moon that you stole from the skies is that old devil moon in your eyes. You and your glance make this romance too hot to handle. Stars in the night blaze in their light, can't hold a candle. Dazzle, dazzle, you got me flying high and wide on a magic carpet ride full of butterflies inside. Wanna cry, wanna groan, wanna laugh like a loon. It's that old devil moon in your eyes. Mr. Mahoney, it takes two to make a valley legend. I look at you and suddenly something in your eyes I see soon begins bewitching me. It's that old devil moon that you stole from the skies. It's that old devil moon in your eyes. You and your glance make this romance too hot to handle. Stars in the night blaze in the light can't hold a candle to your razzle dazzle. You got me flying high and wide. On a magic carpet ride Full of butterflies inside Wanna cry, wanna cry Wanna laugh like a loon It's that old devil moon In your eyes Just when I think I am as a dove, old devil moon, deep in your eyes, blinds me with I'm in love and don't I show 
up baby in arms Men are not a new sensation I've done pretty well I think But this half pint imitation Puts me on the blink I'm wild again Beguiled again A simpering, whimpering child again I'll sing to him each spring to him and worship the trousers that cling to him. Bewitched, fathered, and bewildered, I'm all lost my heart. But what of it? My mistake. I agree, he's a lad, but I love it, because the night's on me, a pill he is, but still he is all mine, and I'll keep him until he I mean a lot, but now I'm like sweet seventeen a lot, bewitched, bothered, and bewildered, am I? What am I, half shot am I, to think that he loves me so hot am I? I'm on. If your dream boat is leaking and your pal ain't your pal, geometrically speaking, just keep in Dumb again and numb again, a rich, ready, ripe little plum again, bewitched, bothered, and bewildered. I'm the vintage tunes alive and the crackling sound in the air, we need your support. You can be a part of preserving this ch cherished tradition. Head over to our Ko-Fi link in the description and show your love for the Vintage Radio Channel. Your generous contributions will ensure that the melodious melodies of yesteryears continue to grace the airwaves. To show our appreciation for our tips from last week, we wanted to officially thank Kylan and R.C. Mulher for their generous support. Remember, folks, if you want to hear your name over the radio waves, consider tipping Vintage Radio and your name could be announced next week. Every donation counts, whether it's the cost of a cup of coffee or more. Your support goes directly towards maintaining the old radio equipment and curating the finest selection of timeless songs. So, folks, let's keep the vintage spirit alive. Click that Ko-Fi link below and let the warm, comforting tunes of the past continue to serenade us. Thank you for being a part of our journey down memory lane. And now, back to your regularly scheduled programming of Vintage Radio. 
another rope playing another show in Philly, Boston, or Baltimore. A chance for stage folks to say hello. Another opening of another show. Another job that you hope at last will make your future forget your past. Another pain where the ulcers go. Another opening of another show. Four weeks to rehearse and rehearse. Three weeks and it couldn't be worse. One Will it ever be right? Then out of the hat, it's that big first night. The overture is about to start. You cross your fingers and hold your heart. It's curtain time and away we go. Another opening of another show. Another opening, another show. In Billy Boston or Baltimore. A chance for stage folks to say hello. Another opening of another show. Another job that you hope that lasts will make your future forget your past. Another pain where the ulcers grow. Another opening of another show. Four weeks to rehearse and rehearse. Three weeks and it couldn't be worse. But it will it ever be right? Then out of the heck is that big first night.
a sight. We'll find the romance and danger way to get it beneath the Broadway light. But we have our chance to what so we like the rest of the night. Sight, sight, sight! New York, New York, a hell of a town. The Bronx is up and the battery's down. The people ride in a hole in the ground. New York, New York, it's a hell of a town. Here, there are 20,000 streets in New York City, not counting MacDougal Alley in the heart of Greenwich Village, a charming thoroughfare. Here we go again! The famous places to visit are so many, or so the guidebooks say. I promised Daddy I wouldn't miss on any, and we have just one day. Gotta see the whole town from Yonkers on down to the bay. In just one day, New York, New York, a visitor's place, where no one lives on account of the face. But seven millions are screaming for space. New York, New York, it's a visitor's place. Hey, look who's coming back, Tom and Andy. Hey, Tom, Andy, hey, hey, fellas, how was your day in New York? Oh, uh, wonderful, I don't remember a day. Oh, I remember a day. <laughs> Manhattan, we may not dress in silk and satin, or so the fellas say. There's just one thing that's important in Manhattan. When you have just one day, gotta pick up a date. Maybe seven or eight on your way. In just one day, New York, New York, New York, the hell of a town. The front is up and the battery's down. The people ride in a hole in the ground. New York, New York, it's a hell of a town. Hello, Mr. Dr. Weir's mystery will be continued shortly. Say, by the way, Doctor, is mystery your sole pleasure? Young man, what could be more pleasant than mystery? Well, music, for instance. That music, why, of course. Have you ever heard my clanking of chains? Uh, Doctor, I'm afraid you've got me wrong. I mean the kind of music men hum or whistle when they feel on top of the world. And gentlemen, one of the many things that give you that tip-top feeling is the pleasure of being well-dressed. Perfect taste is a criterion, and in hats, there's nothing smarter than an atom. From stem to stern, your atom hat gives off that look of quality. You see quality in the carefully molded shape, and in the richness of the genuine all-fur belt, and in the subtle color shade. Next time you pass an Adam hat store or authorized dealer, stop in and try on an Adam. Once you see and wear an Adam hat, you agree that today, as before, Adam is one of America's outstanding hat values. Now, the uh, good Dr. Weir. In every Chevrolet showroom across America, more and more people are looking for a car that's just out and just wonderful. The 1957 Chevrolet. Some are looking at Chevrolet's daring new front-end selling. The bold new grill. Big, beautiful sloping hood. Some are looking at Chevy's handsome new rear end with high fashion fenders and fresh new design. Everyone's enthused about the new color-fashioned interiors and the sleek command post instrument panel. And the biggest new call, Chevrolet's fuel injection. The greatest engine advance... Now, there's no guiding 
star I can see, and I would be lost by each wild tempest toss if I didn't know of a place we two can go. There's a little cabin in the sky, Miss Star, for me and for you. I feel that it's true somehow. Can you see that cabin in the sky? Miss Star, an acorn or two of heavenly blue to blow. We will be all oh, so gay. Eat fried chicken every day as the angels go sailing by. That is why my heart is flying high, Miss Star, cause I know we'll have a cabin in the sky. the sky, mister. Can't you see that cabin in the sky, mister? Every day as the angels go sailing by. That is why my heart is flying high, Miss Explain it. Who can tell you why? 
fools give you reasons wise men never try. Some enchanted evening when you find your true love, when you feel her call you across a crowded room, then fly to her side and make her your own. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. 
Anything you can be, I can be greater. Sooner or later, I'm greater than you. No, you're not. Yes, I am. No, you're not. Yes, I am. No, you're not. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. I can shoot a partridge with a single cartridge. I can get a sparrow with a bow and arrow. We can do most anything. Can you bake a pie? No. Well, neither can I. Anything you can sing, I can sing louder. I can sing anything louder than you. No, you can't. Yes, I can. No, you can't. Yes, I can. No, you can't. Yes, I can. It sings pretty loud. I'm superior. No, you're inferior. I'm the big attraction. Oh, no, you are the small. I'm the major one. Oh, no, you're the minor one. I can't beat you at anything, and that's not all. Anything you can buy, I can buy cheaper. I can buy anything cheaper than you. Fifty cents. Forty cents. Thirty cents. Twenty cents. No, you can't. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Anything you can dig, I can dig deeper. I can dig anything deeper than you. Thirty feet. Forty feet. Fifty feet. Oh, go to digging, kid. Oh, I'm so tired. I can drink my liquor faster than a flicker. I can do it quicker and get even sicker. I can live on bread and cheese. And only on that. Yep. So can a rat. Any note you can reach, I can go higher. I can sing anything higher than you. No, you can't. Yes, I can. No, you can't. Yes, I can. Pick up your tonsils. I'm sorry. I can lick faster. I can lick anyone faster than you. With your fist? With my feet. With your feet? With an axe. Call me a cab, kid. <laughs> anything you can do, I can do better. I can do anything better than you. No, you can. Yes, we can. No, you can. Yes, we can. No, you can. No, you can. Yes, we can. Yes, we can.
short intermission for the vintage radio good news. Good evening, dear listeners. It's time for your heartwarming dose of vintage radio good news. Bringing you tales of courage, kindness, and heroism that'll surely warm the cockles of your heart. I'm your host, and I've got a story that'll leave you amazed and inspired. Picture this, folks. A serene waterfall. Nature's beauty at its finest. But beyond its tranquil facade, danger lurked, and it took the courage of an off-duty officer to make a difference. Our hero of the day is none other than a valiant off-duty officer who recently displayed remarkable courage in the face of danger. It all unfolded near a picturesque waterfall where a woman found herself in peril, disappearing beneath the cascading waters. But fear not, dear listeners, for our off-duty officer was at the right place at the right time, and armed with the heart of a true hero. With no hesitation, he sprang into action, diving into the tumultuous waters like a guardian angel. Braving the currents and the force of the waterfall, he searched fervently for the woman who had vanished beneath. And after moments that must have felt like an eternity, he emerged from the water, holding the woman in his arms like a modern-day knight rescuing a damsel in distress. His selfless act of bravery not only saved a life, but it also serves as a reminder that heroes walk among us, ready to rise to the occasion when needed the most. And there you have it, folks, a tale of bravery that transcends time and reminds us of the power of the human spirit. Remember, every act of kindness and heroism has the potential to create ripples of positivity that echo through generations. This is your Vintage Radio Good News host signing off, urging you all to be a beacon of light in the lives of those around you. Until next time... Stay tuned for more heartwarming stories that warm the soul. If a custom tailored vet asks me out for something wet, when the vet begins to pet, I cry hooray. But I'm always true to you, darling, in my fashion. Yes, I'm always true to you, darling, in my way. I've been asked to have a meal by a big tycoon and steel. If the meal includes a deal, except I may. But I'm always true to you, darling, in my fashion. Yes, I'm always true to you, darling, in my way. There's an oil man known as Tex Who is keen to give me checks And his checks, I fear, mean that Tex is here to stay But I'm always true to you, darling, in my fashion Yes, I'm always true to you, darling, in my way I enjoy a tender pass by the boss of Boston, Mass. Though his pass is middle class and not back bay. But I'm always true to you, darling, in my fashion. Yes, I'm always true to you, darling, in my way. There's a madman known as Mac who is planning to attack. If his mad attack means a Cadillac, okay. But I'm always true to you, darling, in my fashion. Yes, I'm always true to you, darling, in my way. From Ohio, Mr. Thorne calls me up from night till morn. Mr. Thorne wants cornered corn and that ain't hay. Always true to you, always true to you, true to you, darling, in my way.
I caught you, sir, having a look at her as she went strolling by. Now didn't your heart go boom, 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 boom? Now didn't you sigh? I sigh. I warn you, sir, never to dream of her. Just bid such thoughts be gone, or it'll be boom, 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 boom. From then on, for once in love with Amy, always in love with Amy, ever. And ever fascinated by her, set your heart afire to stay. Once you're kissed by Amy, tear up your list. It's Amy. Ply her with bonbons, poetry, and flowers. Moon a million hours. So wait. You might be quite the fickle-hearted rover. So carefree and bold. Who loves a girl and later thinks it over, then just quits cold. How I want to love with Amy. Always in love with Amy, ever and ever sweetly you'll romance her. Trouble is, the answer will be <laughs> that Amy'd rather stay in love with. Fascinated by her. Oh, I'm so happy. I want everybody to sing with me the next line. Once you're kissed by Amy. Once, Once you're kissed by Amy. Tear up your list, it's Amy. Tear up your list, it's Amy. Buy her with bonbons, poetry, and flowers. Buy her with bonbons, poetry, and flowers. Moon a million hours away. Moon a million hours away. Might be quite the fickle-hearted rover, so carefree and bold. Who loves the girl and later thinks it over, then just quits cold. Everybody sing once in love with Amy. Once in love with Amy. Always in love with Amy. Always in love. Ever and ever sweetly you romance her. Ever and ever sweetly you romance her. Trouble is the answer will be hard. Trouble is the answer will be ha 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 ha. That ain't it, brother. Delight in fighting duels, but I prefer a man who lives and gives expensive jewels. A kiss on the hand may be quite continental, but diamonds are a girl's best friend. A kiss may be grand. But won't pay the rental on your humble flat, or help you at the automat. Men grow cold as girls grow old, and we all lose 
our chance in the end. But square cut or pear shape, these rocks don't lose their shape. Diamonds are a girl's best friend. Tiffany's. Or else no dice He's your guy When stocks are high But beware When they start to descend It's then that those louses Go back to their spouses Diamonds are a girl's best friend That are strictly platonic But diamonds are a girl's best friend And I think affairs That you must give a sonic A better bet If little pets get big baguettes Time rolls on And youth is gone And you can't straighten up When you bet But stiff Back or stiff knees, you stand straight at Tiffany's Diamonds. Diamonds. I don't mean rhinestones, but diamonds. Once again, folks, thanks for listening to Vintage Radio. Let us know your good news in the comments, and if you like this broadcast, please share it with your friends. This is Vintage Radio signing off.